behind 32% shooting from the field and an abysmal 12% shooting from beyond the arc. Cornell fell tonight here in Princeton, New Jersey, 61-41. Well, they, they do a great job of chasing you off the three, generally. If you look at it, they, they switch hard and everything, and they get out on you. And then that's, you know, you expect that. You know, I think we expected that. Um, so we had some open looks that, that we usually did, but then maybe the wear and tear and continue chasing you. And, I, and that's part of the problem we had tonight. And Cornell holding them to 41 points, I, you know, I don't think that that's, you know, uh, an everyday occurrence, and I don't expect that out of them for the rest of the year. So something kind of came together where our defense was pretty solid. And I just thought we allowed them to only guard us for 15, 20 seconds. We did the third defense, the way it's set up, is really set up to, for you to have to really make them work for 15, 20, 25 seconds. You may not get a good one. Uh, we just weren't disciplined enough to fight through that. We, we do have a blueprint. You know, we started by Lenny and Carrillo. And we've all kind of tweaked it in different ways. Responsibility. It's my responsibility to get this team prepared to play. Uh, and we did not do that tonight. That's not taking anything away from Princeton. Uh, extremely impressive in every aspect. Uh, they outplayed us, they outcoached us. They were mentally tougher, physically tougher, and they deserve to win. Despite being outplayed, Cornell was able to make it a ball game closing a late first half 12-point Princeton lead to three, just a few minutes after the break. It looked like we're stuck on 34-31. It looked like Ryan has a three-point, I think, from the corner. You know, that being said, if you're going to rely on those things, there was several other things during the game that it was a matter of time. You know, we were fortunate there, there were a couple three-point shots that they missed, you know, in that stretch. And so, um, that really helped us. You know, I think we mixed it up. In the end, however, it was the hard work and preparation of Princeton that has helped them to transform themselves from the team that went 3-11 in Ivy League play last year to a legitimate contender for the Ivy League title this year. You know, we always play against each other really hard in practice, and we've had some trouble in the past translating that to the games. That's you know, kind of a weird thing, but I think we've been able to take that aggressiveness and confidence that we have in practice when we're going against each other. And try to use it against other teams. I'm just humbled by these guys because I've seen the maturation, um, I've seen the willingness of these guys to really apply you know, what we've been desperate to do. And um, you know, a thing like this is really a testament to you know, the kind of work we're doing. I've worked really hard over the summer to uh, improve and get stronger. And I think that. So you don't see real long droughts like they made at last year at times. Very much more consistent in their efforts, even in their losses this year. It's done a great job getting contributions from the whole roster. Kids are just seem like they understand the role a lot more than play, play to them. Understanding those individual roles has been key to the Tigers' redeveloped team unity on the court. I mean, we don't necessarily have two or three all these players. We have 14 guys who are carrying their weight. Yeah, they're playing much better together as a unit. And they have great chemistry amongst themselves. And uh, it's, it's really starting to pay dividends. Well, Pavel played well, Kareem played well. Different guys individually have helped out. But we're about a team. And we're about this university. And um, I just think it's a major step for this program and this university. With the loss here at Princeton, Cornell fell to 4-1 and one in the Ivy Leagues and lost first place for the first time in the regular season. Reporting here from Jadewin Gymnasium, I'm Sam Alenikoff, Slope TV.